holy God, creator of light and giver of goodness. Your voice moved over the waters of creation, and you led your people by a star. Immerse us in your celestial grace, and transform us by your spirit and baptism, that our lives may be the treasure we offer you. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Isaiah. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. For darkness shall cover the earth, and thick darkness the peoples. But the Lord will rise upon you, and the glory of the Lord will appear over you. Nations shall come to your light, and rulers to the brightness of your dawn. Lift up your eyes, and look around. They all gather together. They come to you. Your son shall come from far away, and your daughter shall be carried in their nurse's arms. Then you shall see and be radiant. Your heart shall thrill and rejoice, because the abundance of the sea shall be brought to you. The wealth of the nation shall come to you. A multitude of camels shall come over you, and the young camels of Midian and Ephah, and those from Sheba shall come. They shall bring gold and frankincense, and shall proclaim the praise of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. A reading from Matthew. Herod secretly called the Magi and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child, and when you have found him, bring me word so that I may go and play a, pay him homage. When they had heard the king, they set out, and there ahead of them, went the star that they had seen in the east until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then opening their treasure chests, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they left for their own country by another road. The word of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord.
a reading from the Acts of the Apostles. <clears throat> While Apollos was in court, Paul passed through the interior regions and came to Ephesus, where he found some disciples. He said to them, Did you receive the Holy Spirit when you became believers? They replied, No, we've not even heard that there is a Holy Spirit. Then Paul said, Into what then were you baptized? They answered, Into John's baptism. Paul said, John baptized with the baptism of repentance, telling the people to believe the one who was to come after him, that is, the end of Jesus. On hearing this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. When Paul then laid his hands on them, the Holy Spirit came upon them, and they spoke in tongues and prophesied all together. There were about twelve of them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Do you guys have occasion to use myrrh in your daily life? (laughs) 
No, not so much, right? What about frankincense? You wake up and get your frankincense on? No. <laughs> gold is a little easier to understand, right? We, we we're familiar with gold. So these three gifts meant something to the people who gave them to Jesus as a way of kind of telling the story of who Jesus was going to be. So the gold was a gift about the power of the world, right? Wealth and riches and power, which as it turned out, was not really the kind of king that Jesus was going to be. But they started there. Frankincense was a gift that was used in incense. And I'm sorry I don't have any frankincense with me for you to see and smell. But what they would do, and there are still churches that practice this. If you've ever been to an Orthodox church, they use lots of incense. Some Episcopal churches, even some Lutheran churches use incense. Um, lots of People use it as a way of kind of praying, and so it's a visual symbol where they burn this, and it makes this, I think it's beautiful smelling. Not everyone thinks it's beautiful smelling. Um, but it's a way of saying, yes, our prayers are reaching up to God. So that was frankincense. And myrrh, I actually have some myrrh right here with me, which I'm going to pass around. And this was oil that people would use in the ancient world when someone died. And this was a symbol for the kings that Jesus was, was going to die. You want to smell it? Actually, I think it smells pretty good. Pass it over. That came to me, my husband brought it back from the Holy Land when he went last year. What do you think? Yeah? It's pretty good. Yeah. So if any of the adults in the congregation want to look at it there, I will leave it up here. So we have these mysterious gifts, and we pray in thanksgiving for the gift of baptism. And all of these things are ways of Jesus and God saying to us, I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with you. No matter what happens, I am with you. And the reason that we got to sprinkle all the water in thanksgiving for baptism was to remind ourselves of our own baptism, that Jesus was baptized, he went into the waters to be baptized, and we're baptized. And baptism is kind of this symbol that reminds us we are all God's family. We are all God's family, and there's nothing we can do, even though no matter how much water I use, though I like using a lot of water when I sprinkle it around, no matter how much water I use, it's eventually going to dry up. It's never going to go away. Your gift of your baptism is something you can't get rid of. You keep it forever. And so sometimes we get to remind ourselves of that. So is there anything special you guys are praying for this baptism of Jesus Epiphany? Back to school, New Year, everything day? For a good year, yeah. Anything else over there? For your great grandma? Okay. What's her name? Who do you call her? That's okay. That's all right. So let us pray. Dear God, our times are in your hands, and we ask your blessing on this new year. We praise you for the gifts of community and family. We pray for Larkin's great grandmother. We pray for St. John and all those people who seek you. Your face, Lord, will we seek. So I've got some lollipops over there we can pass out. Go ahead and grab it. And as um, as we are doing this, if anyone has any birthdays or anniversaries, you're welcome to come up for some prayers right now. And you've got money. That's excellent. We'll take that, too, for our offering. Okay, well. All right, so I'm going to enlist the kids in, our, in help for praying for our anniversaries and stuff. So one of the things you might notice when we pray for blessing is we put our hands up. So you, will you guys put your hands up with me when we're praying for all these folks? So what are we praying for here? Let's, we'll start with that. Birthday. 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 
Excellent. <laughs> All right, well, that, that made it easy. All right, so we're going to pray here. We're going to lift up our arms. We're going to pray for God to be with us. Dear God, our times are in your hands. We ask your blessing on these, your beloved children, as they each begin another year. For Bill, Barb, Ashley, Carol, Mark, Jeff, Sally, and Becky. Shield them when they are joyous and comfort them when they weep. Strengthen them where they stand and be still with them in their rest. May your love and grace grow in their hearts this day and always through Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God, creator, redeemer, sustainer, bless you each now and forever. Amen. Amen. Happy birthday, everyone. <laughs> As we celebrate Christ in body and human form, 
we pray for God's blessing on the church, the world, and all of creation. Inspire wisdom and a spirit of proclamation in your church, God of forgiveness. Uplift, uplift your people, especially our pastor and church council, to share the truth of your word in community. Encourage us to live into the promises of baptism, working for justice and peace in all the world. God of grace, receive our prayers. Renew your creation, God of thunder and mighty waters. Restore the rivers in which your children are baptized. May fields flourish and grow. Summons the, the stewards and the caretakers of the land to cherish your good works. God of grace, receive our prayer. Give strength to your leaders, God who is present in every country and community. Raise up leaders committed to equity and healing. Grant them discernment and compassion as they be in love. God of grace, receive our prayer. Protect and cherish the most vulnerable among us, God of strength. Accompany those who are separated from family or hurting from broken relationships. Shelter our unhoused neighbors and any experiencing poverty. Protect those incarcerated in prisons and detention centers. Care for the sick and the suffering. We pray for those who have asked us to do so, remembering Jesse, Diane, Dan, Claire, Patricia, Linda, Kenny, Sue, Mary Rose, Charlotte, Brandon, Alice, Lorraine, Andrea, Judy, Ruth, Tim, Jim, Stephen, Isaac, Bruce, Tommy, Sandy, Jeff, Eddie, Norma, Ed, Donna, Ron, David, Mike, Marsha, Marvin, Rebecca, Dan, Claire, Ashley, Carla, Lori, Mark, Glenn, Tony, Carl, Terry, Marianne, Michael and his family, the Lesko and Rasputter families, those who travel, those who serve in the military, in law enforcement, and as first responders, and all those who seek the comfort of God's grace, who we name now, either silently or alone. God of grace, receive our prayer. Encourage this congregation, God who calls and sends disciples. Guide us in accompanying, learning from, and serving our neighbors on the margins, following the example of Jesus. God of grace, receive our prayer. Trusting the assurance of the Holy Spirit, remember Jack and all who have died and rest in God's care. Give hope to those who grieve, even though we we rest in your eternal promise of resurrection. God of grace, receive our prayer. Knowing the Holy Spirit intercedes for us, we offer these prayers and the silent prayers of our hearts in the name of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Please be seated. You'll find announcements in your bulletin. Uh, notably, Christmas is over with a bang. Uh, both with the baptism of Jesus and Epiphany, and yet all of these poinsettias need to find new homes. <laughs> so please feel free to take a poinsettia after church. Uh, whether or not you um, offered one at Christmas, they are open to all. Um, also, what is the time for the undecorating? Going to happen this weekend. Nobody else Sometime this week, and we have people covering it, so that is wonderful. Thank you. Um, right after church, um, give or take five or ten minutes, um, I'll be doing a sabbatical presentation and Q&A um, in the friendship room that's just right up these stairs to your right. Um, we'll have snacks and conversation, so please stay for that right after church. Um, please remember to sign in on the red attendance pads as we do try to track attendance by name. And if you're a newcomer, please share your contact information with us so we can keep in touch. We share communion as part of this service every week. We use real bread and real wine. Gluten-free wafers and grape juice are available. Um, as you come up, you'll receive bread or a wafer for me, and then move to your left or right for juice or wine. Um, finally, um, we have not had an active peace in years, um, but if you would like to peace your neighbor, please feel free to do so. Um, as always, you know, be aware of their level of comfort, um, but 
Absolutely. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Always with you. Say peace. 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 Revealed your glory. 
And so with all the choirs and angels, with the church on earth and the hosts of heaven, we praise your name as we say.